Mr. Speakers. Minister. Uh, thank you. The Minister uh, speaks. He closes the debate. Yes, thank you. I, I'm very grateful to uh, members on both sides uh, here and in the other place who have contributed to second reading debates uh, to this point. I think that this sort of work uh, is what the public expects of us as a parliament, uh, that when we are confronted uh, by a challenging issue, uh, that politics is not remotely uh, a relevant consideration in the work that we do, that we work together as a parliament to get the best outcome for our community. It's really important. Across the world, uh, there are a lot of people uh, who have been impacted very significantly uh, by COVID-19. And here in South Australia and in Australia, of course, uh, there have been those impacts as well. There was this brief period this morning when we did not have anybody uh, identified as, uh, as currently having the COVID-19 uh, disease, uh, but unfortunately we had uh, the notification uh, that there had been a positive test. I think that it is really important uh, to uh, reflect that the uh, situation we are in in South Australia is one where we need to be, as the Premier has said, alert uh, but not alarmed. Uh, we need to be making preparations, doing this hard work and as others have done, I want to particularly commend uh, all of those fine public servants who work within SA Health, uh, within uh, all of the realms uh, of public service who are working uh, towards that preparation. Um, the um, bill that we are debating uh, is important. The Chief Public Health Officer has identified the reasons for which it is important. Uh, as I think the Shadow Minister, uh, who previously worked in this area when in government, uh, as I think uh, members of the crossbench in the Legislative Council identified uh, in the debate yesterday. Uh, the original bill uh, that was put through the Parliament some nine years ago uh, was one that had uh, significant support, that took significant work. Uh, it was never meant to be uh, I think, the final step in the process. There was always an understanding that in these public health matters, uh, when the circumstances change, sometimes you need to look at that. And the nature of the COVID-19 outbreak uh, being, I think, particularly identified as one uh, where its transmission prior to the uh, presentation of symptoms uh, has put us in a situation where, as has been seen overseas, uh, these extra measures are required uh, to make it potentially workable uh, if, we get us, if we end up in a situation in South Australia uh, that is uh, significantly worse than it is now. Uh, we want to be alert but not alarmed, but we must prepare for what might be. Uh, I thank all members who have indicated their support for this bill uh, and I particularly commend the Minister for Health uh, in the other place who worked with uh, the Chief Public Health Officer, with SA Health, uh, public health officials uh, and indeed our drafts people to get this bill into place uh, in a very rapid period of time. Uh, I thank the opposition for not just their support for the bill uh, and indeed the crossbenchers for not just their support for the bill uh, but for their willingness uh, to have this bill move through the parliament as quickly as possible. Uh, as I think the Shadow Minister might have identified, uh, or at least potentially one of the members in the other house might have identified, uh, the uh, uh, use of the new measures in this bill may not be one uh, that is necessary to be used on a regular basis, but we want these powers uh, to be available for if they are necessary. Uh, and having this prepar preparatory work done in preparing this legislation, in having it available, uh, I think will significantly assist our public health officials uh, in the delivery of response uh, to any future needs. I commend the bill to the House. We move that the bill be now read a second time. Is that seconded? Yes, sir. All those in favour say aye. aye. Those against say no. That's carried. Mr Clark. Bill for an act to amend the South Australian Public Health Act 2011.